tutorial number 24 and it covers the linear pattern feature within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now we're first going to make a rectangle, so let's click Front, click Sketch, click Rectangle. Now click the origin and a point outside of the origin. Let's dimension this rectangle at 50 by 200. Click OK. Now let's extrude this out and we'll extrude it out by 20 millimeters. Click OK. Now let's go to the front view and click the front face and we'll sketch a circle on the front face. So let's sketch a circle with three millimeters radius. Using the smart dimensioning tool, let's make it 10 millimeters away by 10 millimeters away. Click OK. Now let's cut this circle out. Click Feature, click Cut, click Through All, click OK. So now we've made our feature that we're going to use with the linear pattern. Now click Linear Pattern, and the first thing that we have to decide on is the direction that we're going to make the linear pattern. The direction has to be a straight line, and right now we can either make it horizontal or we can make it vertical. For the first one, let's make it horizontal. Now click the Feature to Pattern, and we're going to select the circle. So let's go through our tree and click the Extrude Cut. And now we have other parameters that we can play with. We can play with the distance in between each circle, and we can play with how many circles we're going to create. So for this, let's make 20 millimeters in between each circle, and let's make 10 circles. Click OK. And now we've made our linear pattern. Now let's do the same, but make a vertical linear pattern. Click Linear Pattern. Click the vertical line. Click Features to Pattern, and we'll click the first linear pattern that we made. Now as you can see, the linear pattern is going in the wrong direction, so let's click the reverse direction to get it going in the right one. And let's make 10 millimeters away, and we'll make four sets. Click OK, and we've made our linear pattern again. Now click Linear Pattern 1, hold down Control and click Linear Pattern 2 and right click and let's suppress these two linear patterns. Now I'm going to show you that you can make a linear pattern with a line that you put in yourself. So let's click on the front face, click Sketch, click the center line, now click the point in the corner and click on along this line. With the Smart Dimensioning tool, we're able to either dimension the angle in between the two, or we can dimension the distance in between this point and this point. For this, let's do the angle. So we'll click this line and this line, and let's make the angle 5 degrees. Click OK. Now click the linear pattern, click the line, the line that we just made, click the feature to pattern, open up the tree, and use the hole that we cut. Now let's make this 20 millimeters with 10 features. Click OK, and now we have it going on an angle. Now we can also adjust this angle and the linear pattern will follow it. So let's right click on the sketch, click edit sketch, and let's make this angle 20 degrees. Click OK, click accept, and now the pattern goes off with those 20 degrees. Now click the sketch, hold control, and click linear pattern 3. Now right click and delete both of them. Now we're also able to change the initial extruded cut and it will also influence 
the linear patterns that we have both suppressed. Now, let's open up the extrude cut, right click the sketch, click edit sketch, and let's zoom in. Now, let's delete this circle, and let's make a square. Now we'll make this square 5 by 5. And we'll make it 10 millimeters away and 10 millimeters away. Click OK. Click Accept. Now when we unsuppress the two linear patterns, they will be squares. So click Linear Pattern 1. Hold down control, click linear pattern 2, right click and press unsuppress. And now our patterns are squares instead of circles. And this concludes our tutorial on the linear pattern function within SolidWorks.